And yes, yes, for today's episode, we're going to watch ATV of Wanna Gay Performances. Last time we checked uh, their covers of like other idol groups, and now we're going to see their performance of Monochrome and Wanna K suit version. Um, I couldn't really say this enough. I think Wanna K is really a great avenue for me to see like the cleanest choreography and this is the time to pay attention to their moves their facial expression by not worrying about the focus etc and we're gonna have a glimpse of like their one decay covers for other groups as well i think 80s nct and string heads cover um by three of the members let's go and by the way, before we start, I already have my album here, right, just in time. And I'm planning to, like, include it in my future videos. I get, I will share to you my postcards. Monochrome. Oh, Jun Song is actually like super powered. This is his song, for sure. Like Monochrome has been like as a leader, I can see him leading the group really well, and the facial expressions that he's giving. I've watched already their musical performances. I won't react to it anymore, but. I did check them on my own time and I was really impressed on how they did their music shows. And they definitely improved from their press release presentation um, a couple of days ago before they went on their first music show live. I think that improvement says a lot about them listening and really just being self aware of what they need to improve on. Jin and Ru Jin looks really good. Young Q The facial expressions really is just amazing. Bing Jin really is like the thing for me on this debut. He's been shining the most for sure. Alongside with Rap One. One Bing. Someone though, someone really comes up really really strong. And how bubbly he is. It's it's almost unbelievable how he kind of pull off like a certain look in the performance because it's different from his true personality. They actually fix like their um, blockings. I like that. 
Oh, someone. Young kid was like eight that high note. cardio before and it was still amazing how they've done this the second time around and how they improve in a matter of seven days that is scary you know ATBO is something to look forward to from here on out and I have not really heard the other songs in the album I'm really excited to dive into their debut album let me know if you are too um, and I know they are joining the Isaac like the sports um sports thing for idols and i'm really glad like you know they're just freshly debuted and they're there <laughs> good thing so let's jump into like their short cover covers of 80s and ct and street kids um not into these groups yet but you know let's see let's see what happens but i heard good things about these three groups so yeah so i wonder who would be here okay we have hala hala 80s so one chair bomb nct127 rock one stray kids i don't know the <laughs> title of the song but it's all just out let's go I think the greatest strength of Song Wan really was just his face. That carries the performance through. Of course, he's, he's good at dancing, but his facial expression is really is captivating. Dancing, rock one. Oh, it's do do do. <laughs> oh, just looks seems a little kid with this costume. I hope they, they, they do this in one of their like music show performances. I'm not too sure as, as to how long they would be promoting, but I love this costume for them. They would be really looking good as a kid. As kids, I mean. I mean, there's no question that all of these guys can really dance. You know, it's just a question of how far they could go. Um, with Rakuen is the best example, I feel like he has the raw and really a good potential to become like the biggest dancer of K-pop. Um, I just 
want him to learn from his seniors. I think the boys are there. Um, he could use some trainings from them. Um, just like I said, Sumo is like 100% facial genius. Um, for Ojun Sok, since evidently he is like all rounder. I'm not, not too sure though if he can really sing, but I feel that Arjun Sok will be like the steady one. And I would say, like, he has the most vibe out of the group. Definitely out of uh, the seven of them. Um, I think it really matters because he's the leader, he's gonna get, carry through the group, and he has to establish his own self first before tending to others and with the rest of the group I think Baehyun Joon has been a clear um, top star like he has the making of becoming a big superstar Baehyun Joon is very scary and I don't know where he could go but as of this video, I am telling you that he is something that needs that people needs to be scared about. Not taking it literally, but what I meant is people to be excited about because the growth for this kid, the engine, will definitely be an eye opener for K-pop. I've never seen like someone who just debuted who's really good, and upon watching the ABR watch show you can really re-watch it um he wasn't really there <laughs> i would say he was really low in performance low in everything i didn't really really expect him to be um, something big and something greater after debut but i think it just goes to show that you know Debut really pumps up everyone. Like, debut really makes everyone great. But of course, there are rooms for improvement for all of them because they just debuted. So I'm a boat. I already have their album. Just like I said, I'll be unboxing it with you guys in the next coming videos as we go through the album. And yeah, I'm very excited because I got so many pieces for one member that i thought i wouldn't really like because i know rujun min is my bias i really like to see him more in my postcards but this person that i shall reveal the next time is on almost all of my pieces and can't resist so yeah, ATV will be every Sunday on this channel. So if you haven't got a like and subscribe, see you guys again. Annyeong.